as yesterday, we were supposed to have a chapel to introduce you to eCampus, and we were thinking about what can we do uh, to make it special, to make it a showstopper, to make it just real interesting, and we couldn't come up with anything just real exciting at all, so... Uh, Rebecca, I'm trying to give a couple announcements here, and you're just playing the violin. Can you hold off for a moment? And a fiddler on the roof. Okay. <laughs> Sounds crazy, no? But here or not, our little campus of LBC, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a simple, pleasant essay without breaking his pen. It isn't easy. And you may ask, why do we stay here if it is so difficult? Why? Well, we stay because LBC is our home. I don't know how. That I can tell you one word. Tradition.
perfectly well. Of course, there was the time that he wanted to use Moodle and he wanted to use eCanvas, but that's all settled now. Now we live in simple peace and harmony. We should use Moodle! eCanvas is the future! No, we should use Moodle! Well, then it has to be because it's the future! I don't know! 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 traditions here at Lancaster Bible College, and one of them has been the last couple years, we've done a musical in <laughs> January, and this is Jonathan Dinkle, for those of you who don't know him. He's playing the role of Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof. Um, when did you guys get back here to start working on Fiddler? Um, well, the principals had to get back here by the 2nd, January 2nd. Everybody else started on the 5th. And so, for one week, you guys have been practicing from when to when? Nine to nine. Nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. And, and you pretty much know the whole show now, is that correct? Yep. We got the entire show blocked in five days. And, and so, now this week, you guys are just kind of cleaning things up, mm -hmm. learning the music better, and working with the orchestra? That's exactly right. How many people are involved in the production? Um, upwards to 100 people, if you include the cast, the orchestra, the crew, and all of the production staff. So it, it's not a small thing. In fact, uh, you saw a piece of the set. Where did the set come from? Um, the set came from a national tour of the show that we are actually, um, they allowed us to use for a stipend. So we're very lucky to have such a wonderful piece of the set. Yep, and, and set. it actually was a whole tractor trailer full of uh, set pieces, everything that goes along to make this whole show happen. Mm -hmm. So um, when are the shows? The shows are the 23rd and 24th, and the 30th and 31st. And there's two shows each day, and how do they get tickets? Um, they can go online at lbc.edu forward slash events, or you can call the school directly and order your tickets that way. Yep. Is there any way of seeing the show that they don't have to pay for it? Yes. Um, if you go to the events office um, and talk to the people there, you can ask them about ushering for the show, and you'll be able to get comp tickets that way. Yep. And do you expect how many people to come see the show? We expect every show to be sold out, so tickets are going very fast. So jump on that now. If, you want, if you want to come see the show, you got to get going on it. Yep. In <laughs> fact, the tickets really are starting to move, and we're excited about it. Fiddler is a very well-known musical. Mm -hmm. It's run on Broadway many times, and uh, we're excited to have it right here on our stage. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. Yep. Let's learn about eCampus. I want to introduce you to Mr. Justin Harbin. He is uh, one of the online ed guys that uh, is going to tell you all about eCampus. They tell me within 30 minutes you're going to understand the whole thing, and it's very user-friendly. So please welcome Justin Harbin. All right. Well, thank you, Bob, and a huge thank you to the cast of Fiddler on the Roof. That was absolutely incredible. Um, my name is Justin Harbin, and I'm one of the instructional designers in online education. And we are very excited to unveil to you our eCampus that has replaced Moodle. Moodle is gone. It is history. And yes, thank you. I heard that. And uh, this new system is so easy. We are confident that with a few brief remarks here and uh, with a brief experience we're going to provide for you to train you, um, you'll be comfortable using the system by the end of the day and probably actually before that as well. So let's get started. Uh, to get to your eCampus, you're going to go to eCampus.lbc.edu, which is a little different than our old address, so make sure you're going to eCampus.lbc.edu. When you go there, you'll be taken to this page, 
And you notice there's a word there, schoology is how you pronounce that. We actually confirm that with them because there's like a schoology. There's you know, different ways to, that people come up with for that one. Um, schoology is the product that replaced Moodle, and it is the product that is going to drive our eCampus. So from time to time when you're in there, you'll see that word. So that's all that is. So you'll log in using your normal LBC username and password, all right, the same as you would use for your email or for my community. And um, the key here that we want you to uh, take note of is that when you put your username in, do not uh, include the at lbc.edu. Just use the username. So when you log in, you'll be taken to your homepage. Looks a little bit like Facebook. Um, and the first thing we'd like you to do is click on courses right at the top of the page there. When you click courses, it will drop down a list of all the courses you're enrolled in. Now, before you go look at your awesome courses that you're going to be taking this uh, spring, we'd like you to click on the one called Amazing eCampus Challenge. This is a very brief uh, training exercise we've created for you. So I'll just mention it briefly. It, it truly is amazing, all right? Um, this course here should take you roughly a half an hour. It shouldn't take you that much time. There'll be a few things to click through um, and a few activities that you typically are used to in Moodle, maybe participating in a discussion forum, um, submitting an assignment, things like that. You don't actually have to do educational type work, okay? So don't worry. Uh, but this is very quick and uh, will orient you to how to use this entire system. Now, I know you're all on the edge of your seats and you were so excited about this eCampus thing, right? But we thought we'd provide a little bit of extra motivation for you. So we have a few prizes that you'll be eligible for if you complete the amazing eCampus challenge. The grand prize, if you complete um, this challenge by 5 o'clock today is an Amazon Fire HD6 tablet. It's a really cool little tablet here. All right. And that is done by random drawing. It's not the first person that finishes uh, wins there. Okay, so that's if you finish by 5 o'clock today. If you are able to finish by 5 o'clock tomorrow, our runner-up prize is a $50 Amazon gift card. Okay, and uh, if your name is not drawn on the first day, you, your name will be rolled over to the drawings the next couple of days. You don't have to, like, redo it every day, you know. And you can only do it once. There's not uh, extra chances of you getting more entries here. And on Thursday, we'll actually be giving away... $55 Benny's and Holly's uh, gift cards, $5 gift cards here. And again, your name will be rolled over each day if, you're not, if you were not drawn. On top of these, we actually have 12 $10 gift cards over the next three days that we'll be randomly hiding around campus. And you'll only know where to find those if you jump into the amazing eCampus challenge. There's an update section, and we'll be giving you hints on where you can go find them. All right, so those are $10 Benny's and Holly's gift cards. Okay, so make sure you watch that. Before we let you go here, I wanted to share one more thing with you that is really exciting about our new eCampus. We have an app, and you can actually, if you really wanted to, take your entire course on your iPhone if you wanted to. I don't really know that I recommend writing a 10-page research paper on your iPhone, but if you want to, more power to you. Um, but you could. And this app is available for iPad, iPhone, Android, Amazon Kindle. Um, so just about anything you have, they do have an app for it. Notice you'll want to look for Schoology. Again, that's the product that drives the eCampus. That's what the app is actually called. And uh, just one thing, as you open the app, you'll be given an option to log in by your username or your email. Choose username, and they'll have a spot for your school. So you type in Lancaster Bible College. And then again, with your username, do not include at lbc.edu. Once you log in, you'll be able to take the entire course, including our amazing eCampus challenge, from your phone or your tablet. 